Hey guys, it's me, Pedal, which my first experience is your key to the possible. So, thank you guys for this cool, awesome video. This video is part of the series called The Brill Life, and it's awesome to be back doing videos. Uh, like I want to let you guys know, uh, is that videos, you know, I've been trying to get back into the routine with adding uh, new, with new classes, working at Visualized Resources here in the state of Minnesota, as well as working, as well as adjusting my work to the afternoons, things like that. So, um, this might be kind of a shorter video uh for the braille life because i just had a quick question and i had some thoughts that i want to put out there to you guys i'm going to do more like in depth of like what i'm learning uh in another video but for this one it's going to be kind of a quick um you know encompassing video because i had some questions so um what you guys see in front of you, if you're if you're new to the Braille Life uh, series, you're seeing a Braille Edge 40. It's, it's a uh, Braille display. Uh, it has 40 cells on it. That's why it's called the Braille Edge 40. And yeah, so uh, here's the thing: is that when I'm learning, because I've, I've had my first uh, Braille class, and, well, first two Braille classes, technically my first one, because it's with the same person. But anyways. Um, when I'm, when I'm going through my Braille classes, I'm finding that I switch between my right hand and then switch between my left hand, uh, for reading. And it's weird because, um, I, I don't know why, like my left hand reassures where I'm at and like kind of like, you know, some letters, uh, on the Braille display, but other, but my right will continue to go down the line, uh, and my left will kind of like steadily follow in a, like a space, uh, beyond it. Um. The first thing is that with your right hand too, it's also preferred to use your index finger. Um, so, but it's interesting. So I use, I go between my left and my right hands, uh, using my left and right index fingers. But however, uh, preference is using your right hand and using your right index finger to read. Now, I have a question for you guys is because I switch between my left hand and my right hand for reading. Uh, and understanding and it actually makes it so much so much more um, available to me uh, should I continue the best way that is for me for learning is being able to use both hands and kind of getting the full immersive tactile experience or should I uh, make sure to always use my right hand and my right index finger um, I know this is a question specifically for those who have blindness visual impairment, but uh, I am curious. Um, the other thing is, is for like a lot of you guys who aren't, who don't have blindness visual impairment, um, the Braille Edge has a whole bunch of different uh, functions and different Braille inputs and outputs. So inputs, input means using the keys. So you're inputting commands or letters or things using the keys on top. So that's input. So you can either have six um six dot cell input or you can have eight dot cell input depending on uh what you want to do and then they have outputs which output allows for uh whatever is displayed on the display here so if you're reading something it'll either show up as uncontracted contracted eight cell all those great different things uh different types of reading settings i did find out Here's an interesting thing. I did find out when I when I brought this to my instructor, my the, she said that this was already in computer braille, which was interesting because it was a it was like a mix between uh uncontracted as well as some contracted some contractions here and there. So it was actually assisted to set this to uncontracted braille so everything on my device is completely uncontracted braille with capitals punctuations periods all those great different things for finding different settings um so uh that is something interesting we found that uh that uh, has been changed and adjusted on my device so i want to show you guys uh something i want to show you kind of that in in depth but i also kind of want to show you uh what i mean by reading uh with my left and right hand so let me just turn this on here Okay guys, so the, this is just the menu and I'm just gonna use the menu as an example. Uh, so when we have like a really small word like this, this is notepad and this is telling me what, you know, what menu item I am on. Um, so we're in the note, we're, or we're, we're in the menu and this is notepad. So uh, if you see here, you, this is what makes up notepad. Um, if you guys want me to do like a braille alphabet video, um, let me know. Cause I, I think that'd be kind of fun. Um, for those of you who might not be 
uh, who, who may not have blindness, visual impairment, or may not have been exposed to Braille. So let me know in the comments below. But anyways, when we have a small word like this, uh, usually using just my right index finger is fine. However, let's see if we can find something. Yeah, so we, we'll find this. This is really long, right? Uh, so this is, this is, uh, let's see. Do, 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 do. It, yep, this is terminal for, uh, terminal for S, uh, let's see. Oh, terminal for screen readers. Okay. So, um, so when it's kind of longer like this, I mean, at times I find myself doing this with my right index fingers going across the keys. Uh, you're supposed to lightly hold your finger on there. You don't want to press down. Otherwise it m messes up the effect. So I find myself going from left to right with my right index finger, but other times, um, like as my habits would ensue, uh, because I'm holding my phone, uh, with a selfie stick here, and hopefully I'm getting a good view for you guys. I've, I've been trying to line up based upon using my palm, my hands from the device. So I do hope that this is, um, assisting you guys in being able to see this. But what I would typically do is I would start the word like right here. So I would start it and then I have my other finger, you know, imagine my fingers just like this. So I'd have my other finger like traveling behind it so that I could remember what the first few are and then, and then seeing the rest afterwards. It's kind of weird, but it allows me to basically piece together words, at least for when I'm learning. I figure that after I'm more quicker at reading things, it'll be a lot better. But uh, um, that is just, you know, that's my question for you guys is, is left-handed, right-handed. I know some people do left-handed. I do both, which is weird. Uh, but though, if you're talking about like writing with a pen or pencil, uh, my right hand is dominant. So... I'm just curious, you know, let me know in the comments below, guys, what your thoughts are. Uh, if, you know, for those who are blindness, visual impairment oriented, if you are not blindness, visual impairment oriented, let me know in the comments below what you want to learn, because I bet that you probably, if you got to the end of this video right now, you're probably like, there's so much stuff I don't understand. Okay. So let me know what you guys want to learn. Also make sure if you are new to the series, check out the previous videos because that will help your understanding and, and the uh, answer some questions you probably have either about Braille displays or about Braille. Um, but also if you guys want me to do some sort of like an alphabet video or things like that, you know, where you see uh, what letters are or what, you know, how words are made, things like that. Let me know in the comments below as well. I would be happy to do that. Um, if you guys would be so kind as to like, favorite, or share the video if you enjoyed it, that would be fantastic. If you are not a subscriber, please subscribe because there's more great content coming out. I just don't want you to miss it, including more videos of the Braille Life video series. Um, but otherwise, thank you guys so very, very much for viewing this video. Remember the perseverance is your key to the impossible. I will see you guys in future videos.